Hello, let's continue our today's journey. So last time I was making a um, ballistic transfection. Last time I was tried with golden particles and special pneumatic machine that push it into the explants and the results are quite good. Uh, well, not impressive, but well, it's positive. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show it into their microscope how it looks like, but well, if you get in the fluorescent microscope, then you will see here, here's a mix of GFP with two CRISPR constructs, just a mix of everything. Uh, and uh, I can clearly see like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 25 uh, bright uh, green fluorescent cells. So the, the, the process is working. But efficiency is extremely low compared with agrobacterium. So I decided uh, to, uh, uh, to repeat the same thing with agrobacterium. So I have four CRISPR constructions. I said like one, two, three, four, with, combined with Cas9. It's a big, big plasmid which I put into agrobacterium, let it grow overnight. And then uh, I removed supernatant and placed that into the sun special medium, added syringolactone, it's a factor that stimulates agrobacterium to transform plants. And yes, then I have uh, my own uh, Cas vector without CRISPR, which is supposed to show some fluorescence because it's Cas9 fused with GFP. Never seen any positive results yet. Well, not clearly, beautifully positive, something like very, very low level. Something is there. It's doing something to plants. I see a lot of um, not normal plants after that transformation when I tried to grow those palaces. And this is a cryptic one. Uh, it's my, another my special project. And GFP, uh, yeah, just as a control. So I'm going to inject all that agrobacterium, they are alive, they are now hungry and, and willing to attack the plant into that plant. That's our oh, old, very old wild type, original, it's all started with that plant, still alive, already three years. Uh, so I already put in labels everywhere, so I'm going to inject things into uh, without needle. Needle actually you will see how it's going. It's not like I'm, 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 I'm doing it with a needle. <laughs> it's not. It's a completely different procedure, much more easier. Needles, I need to, to get the bacteria inside the syringe. So syringe is of course sterile, needles also. Then I need, and I will do it just one by one. So I will start with a control, yeah, with GFPC, as I see. Oh. Here they are. Um, yeah, all those clones are checked with PCR, showing everything is there. Cas9 is there, CRISPR is there, four different CRISPRs. Wow, as well as others, so showing positives mm, with PCR screening. So the plasmid sits there because I had a problem with this, with one. After some time, bacteria of keeping them on the plates, bacteria losing the, my plasmids because I'm working with a difficult genes, with a toxic genes, with an unusual genes, <laughs> with a very experimental genes, very artificial things. Uh, and it's bacteria doesn't like it because of some kind of leaky expression from, from some cryptic promoter. Who knows why? Okay, uh, well, yeah, so now I, I have a problem with that coronavirus, uh, my construction, my personal construction, apparently it doesn't want to grow very well, but I will make it. Um, yeah, so what do we need? We need, um, let's see, that's GFP I'm going to make. GFP is a cold control, so we'll build here, 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 and I'm also going to make it here, here. Here is a new generation of transformed plants. One is extremely high uh, GFP positive. It's just shining like, like, like it's radiated. And another one from the same cows, it was 
are also shiny, it was also GFP, but then it just stopped it. Absolutely zero dark red one. So it's nice to show it to people when the people come here to I'm always showing in a theories microscope, just cutting a piece of this one and this one and showing next to each other like how does it looks like genetically modified uh, positive versus genetically modified negative. They both were positive in the beginning, but one lost expression, another one keeping it very stable, extremely, extremely high. Yeah, uh, here is uh, also another thing <laughs> they have, I have like, like a lot of it, it's, it's a seeds of tobacco. Imagine, it's all failed experiments, like one year work, all failed. Imagine how much plants, and time and care you need to, 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 to collect that amount. It was a whole box, I just collected it all together. I'm going to eat it, maybe, to make a tea most expensive tea in the world with tobacco seeds. There is no nicotine there. But the price is a golden, golden seeds. Yeah, really golden. If you think about how much money was spent to get them. Uh, well, so what do we have? We, we need, we need, uh, uh -huh. and we need, uh -huh. Needle. Then we put needle there. Then we take it out. Then we put a GFP. It's overnight culture in 10 ml. Then I concentrated it into three. The more concentrated, the better. In fact, I would I can add there also magnesium. That's the best thing. That better. From my experience, no need. So okay, let's take it. Hoppa. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Not we need something to actually we don't need anything. I will remove some copper. Some mm -hmm, it's all going to special trash. Uh, okay. Take off the needle. everything well wow. ah. so what I'm doing again I need to take my glasses and give it no sense uh, I'm making a very small cut because from both sides I'm doing it just just touching it and here also I need just, just a little bit touching, not really a cut, just cut. And then finger here, finger here, and hop, you, hop, uh, it goes inside through the cut very nicely, voila, done, then take it off. And another one. Opa. Oh, that's enough. Basically, we don't need a lot. Opa. Hold on. And then we'll go with next, next, and next. So here we need to also. Uh, I already did cut. I cut here. Opa, hop, and opa, hop, ready. So the bacteria, when inside the leaf, they get in between the, the leaf and inside the, in between the layers. There is only two layers, basically, in the, in the leaf, yeah. 
and uh, they, they will transform almost 100 percent but of course not many of those cells able to continue that uh, expression from up time but nevertheless for as a, as a way to see how things working in a short time and in four days next monday I will already see results. I will already look at the microscope and I will see lots of almost 100% of green fluorescent cells. And they are clearly different from other cells around. Pretty easy to, to see the difference. And what else? I wanted also this one. Yeah, I wanted also to make. Just why not? So uh, it uh, can be that agrobacterium is not very happy with this to reuse the plant which is already modified. But I don't think so. It's just my wild idea. Wild. Okay. Yeah. But because it's, it's so so close, I I'm always afraid some cross contamination. But well. Oh, there's 9 and 11, you see uh, there's going to be 9, 11, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. 9 and 11 is just names of, of it's by chance. 9 is Cas9, and 11 is another. Uh, it's uh, PVK, P with plasmid, VK with Vladimir Kai, and 9 it's uh, construction. So I have basic construction, it's number 8, with sartelizine, and then uh, from that 8, there was a construction with Cas9, and then there was a construction with 10, which is the same artelazine without a secretion signal. And then, uh, and without intron. Actually, very well expressed, by the way. Intron is not really important. And then, um, yes, uh, what else? Uh, yes, I have 11, and, and uh, now 13 is going to be my special um, construction for uh, eatable vaccine in the plants against the coronaviruses that will be in fact anti -vaccine. it will stimulate tolerance rather than uh, activate immune response because tolerance is also immune response and it can be activated using a different way of uh, not injection into the uh, muscles but by eating it by presenting antigen in the end in the intestine that can stimulate completely different immune response and there are a lot of reasons to believe that it can be a really good one for many people rather than a normal immune response what everyone wants uh, today I got a letter that I must go for vaccination but it's not obliged so I'm, I will wait until the last uh, when I really need it uh, uh, well to travel or something else so. At the moment, uh, I don't feel like doing it because I already get to, I guess, one year ago and it was fine. And I don't see any reason for vaccination. If I had natural uh, immune response, pretty good one. Okay, uh, so thank you for attention. And till next time, now I will continue to do it and then I will cut out my jeans and then at 10 o'clock in the evening and I need to leave because of security reasons. Okay, bye.